So we're currently in this market. Um, we don't need the market selection screen up at this particular moment in time. So I'm actually going to just close that down and get that off of our screen so that we can focus what's actually going on on our screen. And, you know, you'll be itching to do something immediately you start using BetAngel. Now, you can see from the screen up here, we've put it in practice mode, and that is because we're just messing around now. We just want to do a few things, get used to the software, and start doing something interesting. And if you're going to trade or do something interesting, this is where I, su I suggest you start. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Make Market button, because this does a trade for us in one click. So it makes it very, very simple for you to put your first trade through the market. Now, before you do that, we need to introduce the back and lay stake. Now, we're on the one-click screen. It's called a one-click screen for a very simple reason, and that is if we click it anywhere over these prices here, BetAngel will place um, a trade or bet through the market at the current prevailing stake, which we've set at £2. You can see all the way down here, the back stake is £2. All the way down here, the lay stake is £2. So if we click anywhere on the screen, it will take whatever price we've clicked on and place a trade in the market with that particular stake. So for example, if I click here, it will back um, with two pound at 6.6. .6. If I click here, it will lay for two pound at seven. You can see that's changed to 6.8 temporarily. So wherever we click on here, it will place a bet at the, at the best price within the market. So if I click over here and back at 6.2, it will get matched at 6.6 .6 because that's a better price. That's the way the matching process works on a betting exchange. If I click over here and lay at 7.6, then it will get matched at the best available price there. So these are the two prices that bets will get matched at when you have the odds display set up like this. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to place an order um, using the Make Market button. And it's a really simple trade to do and very simple to understand. So that's where we're going to start. It doesn't involve anything particularly complicated. But the first thing we need to do is set the stake. So I'm going to do £10 on the back side, £10 on the lay side. And then if I click on this uh, little box here, can you see it applies it to all runners? There you go. You don't want to go through changing the stake on every single one. So we've gone up to the top of this column. We've put £10 on the back, £10 on the lay, and we've clicked on both. And that means that whether we back or lay, we are going to place a bet of £10. And if we go in and use the make market um, function, what I'm, what I'm going to do here is the unmatched bets, this underneath here, down here, you can see it says unmatched bets. This tells you what positions you have in the market that are still outstanding. And the reason you, you can see I've dragged this up here, this just, you, you do whatever you like with it. You can keep it there. You can make it slightly larger as I have done or whatever. But the reason this is there to, is to tell you what's going on within the market with your position. So if I go into this market, I'm going to click um, on the Make Market button here. And what the Make Market button does is the following. You can see here it says you are making a market by backing at odds of 7.8 and laying at odds of 7.6. So that's what the Make Market button has done. Now you can also see that a bet confirmation has come up. And at first you'll think, well, that's annoying. Do I, do I have to confirm every single bet? What's the point in having a one-click screen where I can place a bet with one click when a bet confirmation comes up? Uh, this is a safety. Uh, feature. This is to ensure you know what you're doing and that the first few steps you take with the product don't get you into any sort of trouble. So when you've got the bet confirmation on, uh, this is what will come up. It will describe exactly what you're doing. So that will help you understand that it is doing exactly what you expect and you can correlate that to what's going on on the screen. So I'm going to say no, I don't want to place those bets at the moment. And you can see here in a note it says if you wish to turn off this bet confirmation feature, use the settings editor. So let's do that. We know what we're doing. We're going to go ahead and place these positions in the market in a second, but we don't want confirmation. So if I say no to that, we go to the settings. And then if we look at the behavior, then you can see there it says confirm bets. Show a bet confirmation uh, message when placing a bet. We don't want it to confirm bets. So we're going to say no, we don't want that. But what we're going to do now here is we're going to save that setting because we've modified the default settings. We want to store those. So we're going to say these are Peter's, if I can spell, default settings. OK. And then can you see up there it says Peter's default settings. So the next time you use the software, it will not do this. So we're, we're ready now to proceed to the next stage. We will not get a bet confirmation. We will be able to place a bet instantly. 
So if we go into this market again, um, we'll have a look here. Uh, let's try... This is the trader coming out in me. I'm, I'm looking for an opportunity. Let's try going to Whaley Station. If I do a make market on Whaley Station, you can see that it's placed two positions in the market. We've got one unmatched bet at seven, which is down here at this particular moment in time. And you can see what our net position is um, overall within the market. Now, the situation that we're at when we do a make market is it backs at the current lay price, it lays at the current back price. And the reason that we've done that is if you lay at a lower price than you back at, um, then you will make money. So if we get both of these positions matched in the market, um, we're laying at a lower price than we've backed at, both of them get matched, and hey presto, we have our profit. So can you see what's actually happened there? We've backed and laid at two different prices and we've netted the profit between the two. So if I go up to the match bets area here, you can see we backed Whaley Station at 7.2, we laid Whaley Station at 7, and that's where that £2 profit has come from. So, you know, we have a profit in this market. We will win now regardless of whatever happens within this particular race. So whether Whaley Station wins um, or loses, we can't lose money. Um, if Whaley Station wins, then of course we win £2. But if Whaley Station loses, then you can see we actually get nothing at the moment because the profit and loss on Whaley Station is 2 and it's 0 on everything else. So the way that you get a win whatever the result situation within a racing market is you have to hedge your profit. So if I go up here and click on green, can you see what happens? All of a sudden the trade profit column is showing 28p across every single runner. So if we left the position as it is here, we'd win £2 on Whaley Station if it won and lose nothing if nobody else won. However, if I click on the green, then you can see it spreads the profit across the entire field. So let's do that. When we press that particular column, that places that position into the market and BetAngel has spread that profit across the entire field. So the situation that we have now is that we will win regardless of who goes on to win this race. Um, if Strategic Force, Headspace, Lady Bridget, is that? Whaley Station, Secret Asset, Time and Place, Drive On, Clockmaker, Secret Millionaire, or the, out, the Rank Outsider, I'm not going to try and pronounce that, uh, we will profit whatever happens. And the way that we did that is we arrived at this market, we set our stakes at £10, we used the Make Market button, then we ticked the column up here and then we clicked on this particular column and when we did that it spread the profit across the entire market. So this race is going to start any second now, they're just loading the last couple of horses but we don't need to worry about who's going to win this race because we've profited regardless of the result. Um, and using the Make Market button is a great introduction to how to use the one-click screen and I recommend that's where you start.